Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will continue my discussion about the triggers. So the triggers that we are exploring is basically uh, selection type triggers. As you can see here I have specified couple of buttons like lock field, lock call, clear field, unlock and clear fields, so, uh, so on and so forth for demonstration for demonstrating the uh, the different type of triggers. So, so what we will do, we will just uh, explore each and every trigger and see how to put that uh, trigger into action. So currently I have specified over a button, but uh, you can specify on other events like uh, sheet activate event or sheet deactivate event and perform the desired uh, uh, behavior. So let's start with lock field action or lock field trigger. So what it does is basically what when I made a selection, it will going to lock the field. As you can see, once I hit it, hit this button, uh, the JSON mill is uh, now turned to blue, the highlighted color turned to blue. What it says that if I made any other selection, this particular selection will not going to change. Sometimes it is really useful because you want to have a particular type of selection always made into the document and you want to perform other selections as you move on with your analysis. So if you want to desire, uh, if you want to have this desire, then lock field option will come into picture. Uh, lock option is also present here in the toolbar. It's up to you what you want to do that. Uh, if you want to have a very clear and visible uh, as a button appear over here, uh, where you can simply use it, where a user can simply click on the lock field, you can apply it. Or uh, something like you have a business operation that once you activate a particular sheet, uh, one of the filters should always be uh, locked in that particular sheet. All right, so so that's the kind of little bit business behind it and reasoning behind it why we can have lock field trigger. So after this, if I want to remove that lock, I have unlock field. But before I demonstrate this, I will just go ahead and uh, check, uh, tell you the how to do the. Uh, desired configuration to lock the field i'll simply right click here the lock field and go to the properties and as you can see the action that i've specified is lock field and the field name so that you can find it's basically under the selection action type and you have the lock field option All right once you click ok this lock field appear and you specify on which field you want to perform this operation when you click on this button Similar to lock field, you have unlock field. As it says, it will going to unlock this particular field. Again, the operation is very simple. The configuration that you have is again, you have selected unlock field and the field name. You click add and unlock field is what it appears. You need to select, click OK and specify on which field you want to do that. After this, you have lock all. That means you have multiple selection made on multiple filters like this and you want to lock everything you lock all if you want to unlock which is opposite to that you unlock everything and configuration is again very simple and similar for both of these guys lock all and unlock all uh, lock all and as you can see you don't have to specify anything because it works on whatever selections you have made you will find lock all and unlock all uh, and uh, you can specify oh sorry to that i'll just remove this and I'll click OK. Similarly, unlock all. You have unlock all, and you can specify unlock all from here. Nothing rocket science. Just click delete here also. No need to specify two times. It will going to do the same thing. All right. Uh, let's move on to unlock and clear field. Clear all. What it does, it will not only unlock the field but clear the selection. So to demonstrate that, let's just click on lock all and uh, click on unlock and clear all as you can see not only lock uh, it is unlocked but it has removed the selection clear other fields again simple uh, we have done some configuration in the back end the configuration is that don't remove the selection from the salesperson but remove uh, selection that is made on other fields so how you where you can find this again in selection action type clear other fields once you select this you need to specify on which field you need to do that 
So if I have made a selection over here and it's related selection here for the demonstration, I'll just click on the clear other fields. What it will going to do, it will not remove the selection from this, but it will remove the selection from the city field. So if I click here, as you can see, selection has been removed from the city. Clear all, as it says, it will remove the uh, selection from each and every field. If I select this and click on the clear all, that's what it does. In just one go, everything is clear. You can have this option over here also. Clear, unlock and clear all, clear all, whatever. Because uh, that's the same action that you specify, just that buttons gives you or these event types give you additional flexibility to achieve the desired behavior from the document. Clear field, as it says, it will going to clear a filter from a particular field. Earlier we saw that uh, clear in other clear other fields, you don't want to remove the selection from the salesperson, but from other fields, that is other than salesperson field. But in case of a clear field, you want to what you want basically to remove the selection uh, based on the specified field over here. So if I select. Jonathan, Chicago, and click on the clear field, it will only remove from salesperson field because that's what we have specified over there. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss. It's a bit, it's a multiple topic that we have covered and it was quite fast, I know, but uh, the topics were relatively simple and uh, kind of a self-explanatory. But important point is that uh, how to do the configuration and where to do the configuration. Uh, very last thing is uh, since we have these fields like in lock field we can specify the field name so what additional activity we can do or dynamic uh, some you know dynamic behavior that we can achieve is by specifying a variable name so v field name is basically what i have specified over there so if i select specify that field name over here by uh, by entering equals to v field name what it does is basically it will specify the salesperson whatever field name we specify here it assign the triggers to that particular field so if i click ok and uh, i say on jonathan click on lock field you can see that jonathan hey is locked because we have specified the variable over here right if I just change this and I click uh, select the city as a field and I click on lock, now you can see city is locked. So that's an additional thing I wanted to show how you can uh, assign the variables to the trigger and achieve further more uh, dynamic uh, behavior from your document. So that's all I wanted to discuss. Thank you for watching the video and I hope it will add uh, some more knowledge to your existing learning of QuickView. So thank you. I'll meet you in a new video uh, with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.